So let's suppose you wanted to make the D major scale instead. We simply start on D instead, so we have our D here. And let's go ahead and put the letters here so we can see. Okay, uh, we can put C and E here. Uh, and all we have to do is use the uh, the whole major scale formula. Uh, go two, two, one, two, 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 one, or whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or whole steps and half steps. Okay, so when we start on D, we need to make sure we're, just like the same up here, we need to make sure we're going two next. So if you look at D and you're going up two, here's one, and here's two. So we get to E. So we draw our E. And then from E, we have to go two more. Remember, we need to make this pattern happen, two, two, one, two, 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 one, if we do something different. We're no longer doing the major scale, so we wanna make sure we're doing the major scale, so we do two, two, one. Uh, two more is here, now watch this. If we go to F, that's only one, so we gotta go up another one. It has to be two. So we land on this note, and remember, this note can be two different names. It can be either be F sharp, or it can be G flat and we have to figure out which one do we use. And some people might say, well, it doesn't matter, but it does matter. You have to use the right one. Now, the there's a couple arguments, but one of them is this. We have D, we have E, so the next letter has to be F something. F something, so we're gonna make it F sharp. The answer is it's F sharp, and we throw it like this. Okay, and we got F sharp, just like that. Okay, the other reason is if we use G flat, and I'll explain in a second, watch what, what happens here. Uh, when we go up, next we have to go up one, right? So two, two, one. And so we have our F sharp going to G. This is one here, so we go to G. Now imagine if we went with G flat here, it would look like this. You have D, E, F sharp, or I'm sorry, G flat instead, and G, and then you would have a G flat and a G natural. This is called a G natural. You would need to put this symbol here. And you don't have any F and it's really, it looks really weird, right? Um, so here we still have one of each note, a D, E, F, and a G, but here we have two Gs but no F. That's not useful. So it's better to uh, use F sharp here for D major. And so that's where spelling counts. And just like the people will say, well, there's no difference between F sharp and G flat. And I again say, well, there's no difference between there and there and there, all the different there's. But if you use them incorrectly, then people might say, hey, that's spelled wrong. It's not correct. And you say, yeah, but it sounds the same. And then you get in that, that argument. It's the same kind of thing. Um, these are called, oops, these are called, for a new vocabulary word, F sharp and G flat, for example, are called enharmonic notes. I guess that should be uppercase. Enharmonic notes, enharmonic. This is what they're called when you have two notes that are the same. So, you know, like B sharp and C, those are enharmonic notes with each other. Okay. Next up, we have to go two more, so two more gets us to, let's see, here's G, going up one, going up two, gets us A. A, so just simple A. B is up two, because we go up two, sorry, I'm jumping the gun here a little bit. Uh, we get to B next. And then we get to go up two more, one more leap of two, we got two, two, one, two, 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 one, I'll draw this even first. And up here, or I guess, not yet, we need room. There we go. Uh, up two is C something. Okay, so we got C. There's one. There's two. Now we know this can be C sharp or it can be D flat, but because we need C next, we got to make this a C sharp. Just like that. A C sharp. C sharp. Okay. And then finally, hopefully, if we add one more, we'll get back to where we started. You should always end on the same note that you started with. So here's D, and let's see, up one, this is a one, up one from C sharp, sure enough, gets us D right there, okay? So that is our D major scale, so we can call this D major scale, D major.